Kelly. My brother. What's going on, my brother from another mother? Uh, yeah. Dude, man, you're my like my hero, man. I wish I could just get up like you do and just you know what the thing is, man? It's like you trying to build a home. Where do you start? You know what I'm saying? It's like it, there's so much to learn, but once you learn it, it's good. Like uh Canva or going into Cartram <laughs> yeah. and, and, and building an ad. I don't even know how to even build an ad in, in Kartra. I don't even know where it is. I don't even know where the pictures are to even grab it and try to make an ad. Well, I just think you still have just your your um your tools just a little mixed up. Kartra is not for your ad. Kartra is 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 for your landing page. Okay, so so, so, so I gotta learn Canva better. So you could take your ad from Canva, and then. Well, I you, mean, Canva Canva is not really. It's not really for your, I mean, you can use it for your ads. Like, can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, perfectly. Because I know that I asked you how you, you did yours. You said I do mine through Canva. Yeah, as far as the image, like if you come to Canva and you type in, if you just type in Facebook and, it, and it's the ad, so you go to Facebook ad, all Canva is for is really for the dimension um, of the actual ad. So Facebook, like if we go to Facebook, let's go to Facebook real quick. There's a certain image size that you want so with facebook when you run an ad there there's that dimension the size of the image is what they're recommending and then when you run an ad on on um instagram it's a different it's a different size so for example this one right here here's an ad this image right here this is the ideal image that facebook wants so i use canva to to give me that size the dimension and then i can use any image that i already have so let's say, for example, this one right here, and then I just simply drag it over, and then boom, there goes my exact size that Facebook wants. Okay, now what do you do with this? Now if you wanted to put a button on it and, and whatever, what would you do it from here since you got your background? So right here, let's say this is the actual image that I want to go with. Um, and then also with Canva, I can go text, and I can add any type of verbiage. But with ads, you don't want to add – you don't want to add no – more than 20% of the image can be covered with text. So no more than 20% of the image. So if you're going to write anything on the image, because I know there's like, for example, go back to this one over here. Look, there's, there's text drive store visits with low, with location based ads. There's text on the actual image. Facebook doesn't want more than 20% of the image covered with text. Oh, okay. I didn't know so, that. Okay. So on the image, you just don't want to put too much text right here. Look at this. Use this as an example. That right there is the most text you want on an actual image. Um, now, Facebook, they won't disapprove the actual ad. They'll they'll just give you like a like a like a like a notification saying, "Hey, your ad's not going to be shown to as many people because you have too much text on the image." So. Okay. I try not to put too much text. I try not to put text at all on the actual image. So, but if you have to, then, then again, use this one as a, as a, as a example, just, that you don't want no more that no more text than what you see right here on this one. Um, okay. But okay. again, with, with Canva, I'll just take that image. Let's say that's the actual dimension there. And I just hit download and then I hit download. And then now I have that image saved on my computer. And then when I go and run an actual ad, so if I come over here to the ads manager, I hit the green one and now I go run the actual ad in the third step, it's the format. So as I come over here, let's say I just use traffic. I want to run traffic to my webpage, to my, to my Karcher page. So yeah. I'll use, I'll, I'll do traffic. And then as I go in through the setup, and then I come to the third section, which is the ad, the identity, the format, the media, over here, this is where I'll actually upload that image. So if I come over here, it's going to ask me single image or video. We've been, you know, talking about video this whole time. But if I want to use an image, I can just come over here. But first of all, what I would do first, what I would do first is I would put that um, image. I would come over here to your business page. So let's go to your business page. What I would do first, so I wouldn't come and set up the ad here first in the ads manager like I'm showing you right now. What I would do is I would take that ad and I would post it on the page first. That's right. So, 
and yeah, you can so, grab it. Mm -hmm. So I come over here like I would post any other post. I'd come over here, photo, and just simply upload photos, and it's going to open up that image. So there's the image that I just saved from Canva. There's that image. I'd write out whatever, make it like a normal post, and then I would share now, and then now it's a normal post on my business page, and then now I would come over here, and I would use existing posts. Yeah, so, that's right. I remember you saying that use existing posts and then I hit the select post and it's going to ask me, okay, which one on the page do you want to use? We'll use the one that we just posted. I'll hit continue. And there goes the ad. Now from this point on, I cannot edit the text. I cannot change out the image all of a sudden because it's what I'm running from my actual page. So if I do want to change some text, I got to make sure that I edit it here first, edit it on the page first. And then I can come over here and choose that post. Okay. Because once I choose that post, look, I, I can't edit. I can't edit the text. I can't change out the image because it's, it's the actual post from my page. Okay. You know, and then, and then right here, when you add button, this is where you add the learn more button. So you, there's a, a few different options, but the, 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 the most popular one and the one that gets clicked on the most is learn more. So you're going to just go with that one. And then this is where you put your Kartra link. Okay. All right. A little so, confusing, but like you said, if you do it a couple times, then you kind of get used to it, right? Yeah, man. Oh yeah. I mean, shit. I can, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I love your, I love your compliments. I sincerely am humbled by every time you tell me that I'm the shit, but to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm really not. I mean, I, I'm not freaking that smart at all. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I am, but then just, I mean, out of humbleness, I'm actually not like really, I'm not. I just been doing this shit as much as you probably did mortgages. You know what I mean? Like I've just been, I, you know, mortgages like the back of your hand. And so now just a few years into Facebook ads, I, I kind of know this like the back of my hand as well, but this is basic shit. I mean, this is super basic shit. You'll learn this, this stuff quick. In fact, yeah, I just yeah. showed you, that's all there is to it. Yeah. Yeah. And just, you know, showing it and doing it yourself is two different things. No, it's perfect. So how did we do with those uh, uploads? So I got a few up there. We got it. it it's just so much 10,000 freaking records. So, let me show you what I what, what they numbers. So I, got, I, I, I sent you the one I looked at. It has to have a one in front of it. In front of it does. Yeah, yeah, it does. So, so those ones I didn't really mess with. I just sent them. Just, I just created just, a few email ones. Yeah, just email ones. And then I will tomorrow start putting a one in front of every one of them, I guess. Yeah. But what's up there now? I wonder if I could do that through a CSV file. I wonder like through a... Uh, Excel file that you could add one to all of them. I'll have to ask my son that. Can you yeah. add a, I'm going to ask because he's good with Excel. See, this one up here at the top, real estate investor interest. Um, is Oh, this is one that you created. This is an ad. Do you have an ad running right now? No, I know. I haven't. No, I haven't. Uh, actually, that's a, um, actually, that's the, that's your other ad account. Let's go to this other, to your actual that was your other account. So everything should be everything should be completely deleted out of there and we should be starting from So it's this one Archer Management Group. Always make sure you're in this one, you know, cuz I was just in your ad account, your personal one, so make sure it's this ad this management group. Okay. So let me sh so audiences, we click on audiences. And then, so I set up all these ones, one, two, three, four, five, and then we can, um, I can definitely add more. You want to add more now, or do you yeah. want to just run with these? No, Let's no, add. I want, I want to run them all, I want them all, I want them all up, and then I'm going to figure out how to do the one. I'm going to ask my son, if I give him the Excel file, if he could add a one to all of them. Sometimes you could add a one and push a button. And it, it oh, yeah, dude, later. yeah. Oh, you can definitely do that. I just don't know Excel that good. I don't either, so I'll ask my son. He, he's a pro at it. So I'll ask if that's the case, then then uh, I could upload them after I watch you a few more times. We just highlight them. Yeah, we're just highlighting them. See, like Lake Elsinore phones. So um, we'll have to delete that one. Marietta phones. After me, me, me. Yeah, see, these I have to delete. Which one? You want to delete Temecula well, phones? Well, they all, they all have phones in them. Yeah. That's why after I was doing them, I'm like, shit, I don't, I don't even think we can use these. That's why I stopped you on those ones. You, you can't. So don't worry about it. Okay, so I, let's I just, delete I just, audience. I just noticed that I got to figure this out myself. Delete, delete audience. It's just, it's just the emails then, man. Let's just, 
Yeah, we could upload just emails. just emails. You can't do anything that says mixed because a Chinese phone we'll have to get rid of because there's no ones. Temecula, if it says mixed, it would just say emails. And see, that's mixed. So that's te uh, now. You could upload where it says mix. You could just upload just emails right here. See all the emails right here, the 25. We don't have to do the phone numbers. You could just do Chinese emails only. So let's do these emails. Yeah, and then I'll deal with the phone numbers later because I have more phone numbers than emails. Okay, so let's create audience. I just don't know if that's enough, you know, shit, 25 records. I mean, well, no, but, but if, if, if we have other ones and, and combine them all, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want to start mixing. Well, I may just, I may do Temecula, I may do Marietta, I may do the Chinese, Escondido, and Canyon Lake all, all in one blast. I may do San Diego and Orange County in a different blast. Fuck it, I had to do them all and get as many as I can everywhere. Probably. Okay, so that's that's the emails for that one. And then there's not another group until way, here we go. Okay, so these are 500. See, this is what I, damn, dude, I just deleted. I mean, see, so I, I, I named it, the ones I just, I just did, I did all this shit already but I just ended up deleting them a second ago because see, look, I just put all the emails. This is, it's still titled 500 SD emails and phone. That's what I freaking titled the damn thing. But I only copied the emails. Yeah. Because we didn't know at the time we had to add it one. So that's my fault. I should have. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that at, I didn't even care about the phone number. I grabbed all these emails and created that audience that I just deleted. So let's go. Is this all 500 downtown? 500. Okay, 500 SD. Do you want to just mix the 500 SD emails with the 500 downtown? Yeah, if, if it's all San Diego, then I don't care. Yeah, it's all San Diego. Those are all San Diego. Yeah, the, yeah. If it's downtown San Diego, I don't care. North County, I would like to kind of keep separate. So I Escondido. Carl's bad. So 500 SD emails and downtown. Five hundred. Okay, so five hundred. Five hundred SD emails. Five hundred. That's it. Just S D downtown and but downtown. Just yeah. San Diego emails downtown. Exactly. So now we know where they are. Until we start building a list like you said. Damn, why didn't it let me copy that or paste it? Five. Mm. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's a good one. Okay, so. So is there any more above that or which one? Oh, no, no, that was not that's above it. it. Yeah, what are all these right here? The ones you already copied? Yeah, I got all those. I got all those. So this one here. Don't worry about that one. I'm just seeing. Is this all San Diego? This is north now. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So you went to a different. I was gonna say Oceanside, Irvine. Yeah. Okay. So this is Orange South. Five hundred Orange South. Okay. The album will go after these people here because. Oh, so look at you, man. You know where to stop at. Shit. 
Yeah, we're good. Let's do this. Dude, you're so right. Let's like is... do it, man. Let's do it. Shit. Dude. 500. What was the name of 500 Orange South, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Orange County South. 500 Orange County South. Emails. Emails. Yep. Okay. Yep. There. Because then I'll do 500 Orange County phone numbers when we're, after I've added a one to it. Okay, so 491. Okay, so that. And then we got this one, 500 SD emails. Do we 500? No. No, this this one has this one has sixty three. Okay, so I think I don't know if we did it or not, but oh yeah, phone after the number says sixty three. That's the only way I could tell there were so many of them. I'm sorry, it's kind of no shit. That's I mean that's how it is sometimes when you get list. Um, sometimes you gotta just clean up the data. No big deal. So 500. No, these are 63, it says, right? Or yeah, it was 500 500? SD emails. And this is, uh, okay, you got it. Five hundred SD emails, 63. 63, yep. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so, and you just got random ones, 500 oh, SD. Don't worry about that. I don't care about that. Let's see what the next one is. See, there's a lot of phone numbers. I mean, they, they may, you know, even if you get 10% of those, Matches. Oh, yeah, of course. We, yeah, so this is uh, which one? San Diego. 1500 Six. Irvine. Okay, there you go. 1500 Irvine. That's a good one, dude. Oh, yeah. 1500 Irvine. Look at all those fucking emails and phone numbers. Jesus. Yeah, that's a good one. This is a good one. I could have told myself just give me 15, give me all the Irvine phone numbers and one CSV and well no, because this is how it came out of uh Lion's Desk. It's already this 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 has already been uh, washed. This oh place. good. So but I haven't used it in a year, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, that came right out of it. So 1500 Irvine. Emails. Emails. Yep. Okay, so let's see this one. Perfect. Okay, so. So this is just in one long CSV file, I take it. I forgot what I sent you, but yeah, it looks like it's just one fucking big ass long CSV file, which is nice. Maybe that's all there is. I thought I had some Temecula and Marietta ones in here. Well, I know I did. Okay, so we got these ones. So for 4117 SD email. So it's 255. So some of this says, uh, yeah. Where do you see that number at? Let's see how it, it, it says 255. Oh, so yeah, yeah, was, gotcha, 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 okay. So we'll name this one for 4117 SD email 255. Yeah. 
Yeah, because then it tells me uh, the number of how many emails you got. It should say that. I mean, forty-one seventeen. What was it again? Forty-one seventeen. Uh, San Diego uh, emails. Uh, was it two hundred fifty-five? Yeah, two fifty-five. Yeah. Four seventeen SD email. Okay. I don't know what the. Uh, yeah, I must. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I did. I must have named it because there's so many San Diego ones. I, I kind of just. Uh, that's how I uh, marked it. Got it. There's all your custom audiences, bro. What's this to make so, my Marriott a mix? Um, mixed, mixed, mixed. Okay, so, so let's look at this one. Um, add. Because mm. there should have been some. Let's see, that would have been. It would it be at the top or the bottom? There we go. Maybe it's just. So that's okay. There we go. There was some right there, but I don't know what that was. These are Lake Elsinore phone numbers. Okay. Mary okay, so that must have been the phone numbers. That's the that's phone it. numbers. So should we delete this one? Yeah, the mix? Just, yeah, yeah, just delete it. Because I'm gonna, I'll call title and see if I can get. So these are all the emails then. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's cool. I'll get. I have a lot more emails, but we'll do yeah, that just later. Emails. I want worry. emails. Yeah, I just want emails. Let's do emails. Let's do emails, and then, and then, shit, man, from. I mean, Facebook's saying the avail availability, they're, they're ready to go, so. Um, but it, it's a bummer, it doesn't tell you, a pro, you know, how many matches or, or look or look alike or whatever. Matches, yeah, yeah, how many, how many are actually in the audience? Yeah, how, how got, matched, how many are matched, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't tell you that. How many are actually matched? Maybe it does. I don't think it does, I don't know, man, I'll, I don't know if it does. It won't, yeah, it just, it gives you a size, but it'll say below or above, smaller after matching. The size of this audience, so let's read this, this, let's, the size of this audience is small after matching your customer file to profiles on Facebook. If an ad set's audience is too small, your ads may not deliver. Okay, but if you click two or three, like 500 San Diego emails, let's go to the next one. Audience is populating 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 so it'll take a little while for it to populate so the chinese one i'll just add that if i did 500 san diego or the 1500 irvine i'll mm -hmm. just add the chinese emails with that yeah then, yeah, then it just, then it will go right i'm not going to do one individually i'm gonna i wanted yeah. to do just Temecula, and marietta like in elster and menifee just in my local area first yeah to see what we get but all i have on that is phone numbers i'll see about creating the one in front of them yeah, as long as we can get the one, then then we'll I'll, be good. I'll get, I'll get the one. I'll ask, I'll ask my son. So then, as we as we click the green button and come in here to run the ad, now it's just simply choosing the actual demographics, or not the demographic, but choosing the actual objective. Which, if it's a video, I mean, you can go with you can go with video views, but not. I wouldn't. I I wouldn't really. Since we have a custom audience already, we don't need video views, even though it's a video. What we need is we need conversions. So we Point want makes. conversions. Yeah. And it's going to be either traffic or conversions, but nine out of 10 times it'll be conversions. That's for lead capture. That's telling Facebook, hey, I need people to go to this landing page and fill out the damn form. Okay, that's what I need. That's conversion. So when we go under conversions, that's when, um, well, yeah, we got to set up the ad account. So you got to add your credit card to this actual account. Okay. Um, so so the way you're going to do that is just come in here, hit these dots, and then go to business settings. Okay. And I'm actually recording this for you as well. So you'll oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, send them all to me because, man, they, they make a huge difference. I was talking to my buddy the other day that has a mortgage company out here. Mm -hmm. We were talking about what I was doing. He told me he spent $6 million last year on advertising. Oh, yeah. He probably made twelve. He made a lot of money, yeah. But yeah. He's, he, he, he's... I didn't ask him how 
if he did landing pages that I don't think he did, but I think he, if he didn't, if he didn't, let me show you this part real quick and, okay. and I'm going to get to that, but in here, all you're going to do, actually you're going to click on, on yeah, it's business settings and it's right here, billing. Okay. No, so I'll click, I'll this is where you'll put the, the card, but if he's not anyone who's not using landing pages, this is the one that they're using. Actually, let me, let me rephrase that. Yes, yeah, so all you do is come in payment settings and you can add it right there, the cart. But anyone, let's go back to the ads manager. He's a mortgage guy. So he's, his whole number one reason to run th that six million was either spent on video ads, creating custom audiences of people who watch the damn video. That's, that's, one, that's one place he spent it. And then he also spent it on lead capture because that's all we care about is lead capture. He's not selling a product. He's not selling a widget from China. He is looking for lead capture. He needs people on the phone to refinance or get them as a home purchase, right? That's yep. his only freaking. So six million was spent on lead capture or video views. So if he doesn't have a landing page, then he's not doing conversions. Conversions and traffic is for those that have a landing page. That's what Kartra is. So we're, we're looking to drive traffic to a landing page to capture the lead. That's traffic and conversions. If he does not have a landing page, then he's running lead generation. So he spent 6 million on video views and lead generation. Lead generation is when Facebook provides a form for you. Oh, I see. So, so, and let me see if I can find, let me, let me see if I can show you an ad. The reason why I don't like that, let me show you. Let's see if we can just find Lydia, heart, heart core business sponsored. Here's an ad. Let's see where she takes me. See, she's taking me to a Kartra page. So here's a landing page. Here's the one button, the blue one. I click on it. There's the name and email. So she's taking me to a landing page. Let's see another one because I'm looking for what your friend may be running. So here's another sponsored video. There's I click on learn more. And she is taking me to a landing page. So everyone's using a Kartra page, but there's some that are not like your friend. And I'll show you what that looks like. So let's see if we can find, here's another one, Entreport sponsored, get offer. They're taking me to a landing page. So nine out of 10 advertisers will take you to a landing. Actually, this is even a landing page. These, these idiots are freaking, they're sending me to a website. They're blowing their money. So I, let me, a lot of them do that, don't they? I mean, yeah, dude, a lot of them, a lot of them blow their money. Look at this one sponsored. Let's click on this one. They're taking me to a landing page. So there's the landing page, nothing else to click on, but one single time. There's nothing, there's no other button. It's not a website. It's a landing page. That's a Kartra page, but I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to show you the ad that your friend would be running if he's not taking people to, people to a landing page. Let's yeah. See, everyone's taking me to a landing page, but just to kind of forget about that. The lead generation is when Facebook provides the landing page for you. Does that cost more? It per lead. Yes. It could cost more per lead for sure. And that's why I, I remember you commented, you commented on one of my YouTube videos one time and you said something about, I think you said something about, about this. I forgot exactly what you said, but this right here, the reason why I don't really go with lead generation and using Facebook's form is because you have to take a few more. There's a few more steps that are involved. So what Facebook does is they'll provide, they'll provide the, land, the, the landing page for you. They call it a Facebook form. They'll provide that form for you. And that lead, it's, it looks like a normal landing page, but it's on Facebook. It's a lead form, a Facebook form. And when they fill it out, that lead is then over here in your page so if you come over here you come to publishing tools and that lead will be over here in well you have to set it up first but it would be right here so lead setup once you set it up first then then that lead will be over here but then you have to connect it to a to a Kartra for example and if Kartra if they don't if they don't accept Kartra then you have to you have to upload it to a different type, like a, like a MailChimp for whatever, for like, like for example, but then you have to get an app called Zapier to allow you to do it automatically. So there's just a few more steps that I don't, that I don't like to do, um, that are involved and it's just complicated. So right here, Zapier. So Zapier is a, is a third party website that also charges, but Zapier allows for Facebook, 
to upload the lead to Facebook. So you'll see the lead right here. And then Zapier sends it to your CRM, which would be your email autoresponder. Oh, okay. So you have to be paying for an email autoresponder. Yeah, screw that. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then that email autoresponder will then send out emails. But the email autoresponder, it can cost as much as the whole Kartra system altogether. So that's why I just use, I just use um, Kartra for everything. So, I just use landing pages. Yeah. So when you land landing pages, do you go into Kartra to look at how many people hit on it? The oh yeah, analytics, dude. Or do you go to Facebook analytics and look both, at it? Both. You can look you at both. To... So so when we start running conversion conversion ads, that's for actual landing pages. I mean, excuse me, that's for actual lead capture to a landing page. Once we start running conversion ads, yes, you can look at the lead count in in Facebook right here. You can, you'll be able to like for example, over here in the ads manager on the dashboard. Now you're not going to be able to look at name and number. That's what Kartra is for. Kartra is your CRM. Kartra is to look at the name, the last name, the email, the phone number. That's what Kartra is for to look at the, 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 the data there. But when you're over here in the ads manager up here, you see budget results, reach impressions, cost per result. It'll also say lead. So you can see how many leads came in by just looking at this. Okay. And then you can look at your Kartra by looking at how many leads are in your Kartra system as well. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know. I figured you'd probably look at both. But, yeah, I'm, I'm getting excited pretty soon. But it's all good. Thank God I got a job. Like you said. It, Dude, I'm it, telling it. you, man. Yes, everyone wants to go into full-blown entrepreneurship. And, you can't. And, and you can't. You, can't. You, need, you need a side income. You need, you need to be able to fund the damn thing. Exactly. You're, you're a hundred percent right. And, you uh, know, so yeah, and it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen overnight at all. At all, at all. Um, so that's but why, I, that's why my whole, you know, my whole daytime thing is my, is, is closing, closing clients on my social media agency, running Facebook ads for my, for my clients, because that provides the income that I can go freaking fund my business with. Oh, I hear you. No. How long you have know? you been, how long have you, since you quit your, your real estate or whatever you were doing and did this full time? No, that's what I do full time. I do, I do from 2010 to 2016, I was, a, I was an LO. So I was a loan originator here in California. I was licensed for California and Washington. I was closing mortgages, refis, home purchases, and we crushed it in reverse mortgages. My best friend till this day owns the company. He is the lender. He owns the company. He crushes it, crushes it. They do, they do, they, they do very, very well. But that was from 2010 to 2016. And in 2016, I left and started my own social media agency and that's when i started running facebook ads for other people so i've been full-time running facebook ads for other people since 2016 but i looked at that as a, as a daytime job because I, I even though i'm passionate about it i'm more passionate about running facebook ads for myself because i want to sell shit right but i needed that daytime income and that's still what i do this to this day i run ads for other people and that's my daytime hustle and I use that income to go fund my business, which is my digital course. So teaching people how to run all this shit themselves. I have a full-blown course all through Kartra. So I'm fired up about, about, about my course, which 45 videos, it's all regarding all this shit. And it's for, it's for a whole nother niche. But that's a course that I'm selling for $1,000. And I'm getting ready to launch it on the 1st of February. So, but, nice. I, but Facebook ads is what I'll be using to, to have people click, learn more. So when they see my ad, it's going to be a video of me. It's not going to be an image. It's going to be a video of me. Hey guys, this is David. Just wanted to say what's up. I want to tell you what I got going on. And then when they click on learn more, I'm taking them to a Kartra page where they register name and email and they watch a 60 minute presentation of what I'm pitching them. I'm going for 60 minutes telling them about my course. And then, and then, and then pitching them 997. And so that's my passion. That's going to be my bread and butter that, but I, but I need a daytime hustle to fund those Facebook ads to sell my shit. No, I totally agree. You're you know? 100% right. Yeah. I totally and if it agree. wasn't that, if it wasn't my full-time thing, I'd go, I, I would for sure have a job somewhere else um, just so I can fund my shit. Yeah. You know, so um hey. You're good, man. You know, you know, you're learning too. Like, we yeah, all we're are. all learning, man. We're all learning. Yeah. I didn't. This I, shit wasn't overnight for me either. You know. I think once you once you run an ad, you still you even really learn a lot from them. And then you're then you're really on this checking stuff. 
right now I have no reason to jump on this. We're not running ads, we're not doing anything, so there's no reason for me to jump on here and look. But that's how you learn by doing it. Yeah, man. You'll learn you'll learn in um and also just investing your time. You're either gonna invest your time to learn it. Um and it, well let me put it this way, you're either gonna invest your time and learn it on YouTube and just YouTube a bunch of random shit, Facebook ads, for example, or you're gonna actually invest in someone that is already running them. And now they're teaching you and now they're selling you some course. That's super, super worth it. Like I invest in courses all the time. Like I have, like, here's all my courses. I invested just in the last few months. I invested in one, two, three, four, five, six courses teaching me Facebook ads, YouTube ads, freaking Instagram ads. So, because I knew that was, that's, that's the most important. The, the car chart, the landing page, that shit, I'm going to learn that you can learn that shit quick. But the yeah. actual skill, and that's why in your business as well, you have you have your management sh shit going on. You would think that that is your core business, which it is. But to tell you the truth, where ninety nine percent of your time should be going is cracking the code on Facebook ads, well, because Facebook you, ads is the blood. Let me ask you something. As we're talking about Instagram, do we are we going to run Facebook and Instagram ads, or are we just strictly just going just hone down on Facebook? No, you could for sure run both, and, and it's all ran through here. Okay, yeah. uh, how about YouTube? <clears throat> YouTube, yes, man. You want to, but YouTube is for video, all 100% video. You got to be running, you got to be running, you, yeah. I mean, even with the videos that you have, you could for sure, you could for sure run those too. Um, well, well, here's the deal I see ads for my competitors around here. Like, I go to YouTube, it's the first one, and first one or two, it says, you know, mm -hmm. beneficial property management. I click on it, it, it does exactly what you said. It takes it right to their website. Yeah. I'm going, what the hell? This doesn't even, they're not offering me anything. It just takes me right to their website. No video, no nothing. It's a, oh. it's a sponsored ad. It says sponsored ad. On YouTube? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it was it was a video. It started with a video. It's no, not it just... didn't. no, it didn't. Watch, go to, go to YouTube and go property management uh, Temecula or whatever. Or whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I clicked on like three or four of them, and none of them uh, started with no video. Oh, you're talking about, well. See, this 119 flat feet is beneficial. Now click on that one. Oh, these top one, these ads right here? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, those from, are they worth it or they're not worth it? I don't know. They're on no, the, no, right? I, I, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't run those. I mean, you can, but at the same time, like you don't want to spread yourself too, too thin right now. Like crack the code on Facebook first or crack the code on YouTube first. Like uh, choose one, choose one. Yeah, don't try face, to do all three. We'll, at do one face, time. we'll do Facebook and Instagram and, yeah. then, and then do that. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Start, start one. And that's what, that's how I'm building my business. Like I'm not trying to learn all three right now at all. YouTube is next. YouTube is what I'll be learning next, but I got to crack the code on Facebook and Instagram first. See these bozos. I'm telling you, man. The, the, Look at that. That's what I'm saying. That, that's how all pro, almost 95% of all property management, this is what you get when you click on this shit. Yeah, dude. Like this is just, this is just too much information, man. And, and their only reason for running the ad is to capture a lead. That's it. Like, why are you sending me to your website? Like here, here's one reason why. One reason why to send me to a website is to capture me with your Facebook pixel which is what they're doing. So, so if, if you're not, if you're running a faith, if you're running a YouTube ad and, and your whole intention is to have me click on it so I can come to your full blown website where you know there's nowhere to capture the lead, but your reason for doing that was to capture my Facebook activity because that's what they're doing here. I can, tr I know that they're running a pixel on me. So, so what they did is they ran a YouTube ad. Okay to track everyone who lands on their website with their Facebook pixel so they can then create a custom audience through Facebook and go run an ad to me on Facebook. Well, I'll tell you what. Which is absolutely stupid in my opinion, but that's the, that, that, would, that would be the only reasoning behind taking me here. Or they're either doing that exactly 100% of what I said, or these dumbasses have no idea what they're doing. No, because I've I've been on this site many times, 
and I've never got an email. I've never got. No, you're not going to get an email because I mean, they didn't capture the lead. I didn't but even get a, what you would see is you would see them in your newsfeed. I don't even see them in my newsfeed. Yeah, see, they're, they have a pixel on their page for sure, but they're just not, they're, they're, they must not be running Facebook ads the right way because what you would do is you would create a custom audience of everyone who lands here. That's what I have on mine. Look, if you come to my actual web page, like under my umbrella of Inspired Digital, I have a basic web page. It's not meant to sell anybody. Actually, I mean, there, there's my products. There's my three products, but I'm not running ads here. The only reason why I even have this is so I can track everyone who comes here. Then I can create an audience. So now I have a custom audience of everyone who landed on my page. So when I go run an ad next week, I could target everyone who landed on it. Yeah, well, that makes complete sense. You know, so that's yeah. what these guys would be doing or what they should be doing. Well, you landed on it, so they got your pixel. So they, they got me. So now I should start seeing ads in my news feed from them. Yeah, look and look for beneficial and, and text me if you ever see one because I would like to know because I've never seen one. And I don't even go through my feed like that very often, but I've never seen one. I don't yeah, have any, so I, don't I would I would I would for sure see them in the in the news feed um, if they were running ads the right way. You know, but but to run a YouTube to, to have a YouTube ad that's, take that's, me to a site like that. That's, even this other one, Dead Sue. This guy's right here in Marietta. I know him really well. I know both these companies. They're right here in Marietta. Yeah, see, see just taking me to full blown websites, man. None of the and here's the difference. A website has all this shit. A website has all this shit down here. Um, this right here, contact. You would think that, okay, great. My phone number's there. The button's there. Contact. They can do that. It's just, it's just these buttons up here don't need to be here. So this page, he needs to be taking me to a page without these buttons up here and maybe just this middle section and the blue button. Should he be oh. offering you something? Like, hey, man, get our free... Affordable property management, serving Marietta, um, 30 years managing, no hidden management fees, request a quote. See, that I know for a fact this guy's not – these ads are not converting. I know for a fact. Look, look, and also when I come here, there's yeah. no Facebook pixel. So oh. he has no idea that I'm coming here. Maybe he's tracking me through Google, which he can. So, so that maybe he's just a YouTube guy and he's just a Google guy because Google owns YouTube. So maybe he's tracking me through Google – which he could be doing, but he should also be fat, tracking me through Facebook and he's not. And to make these, this, this click, cause I clicked on it to make that click convert even more. He should be offering me something for free. Exactly. Like, like affordable property management, serving Maria, Maria and surrounding, uh, surrounding areas request a free quote and get an instant download of the top seven reasons why, you know what I mean? Like there needs to be something more enticing. Well, that's the thing. Even if you go to Google right now and just type in property management, go ahead and do that. I'm going to see if it's watch. I bet you, I just, yeah, just type in property management and then click on the first one to see if I'm telling you. Yeah. And it's like all these idiots, man, this is the most expensive digital marketing. Well, actually, I don't know if it's the most expensive, but I know it's definitely top three, top three, most expensive digital marketing is when you're running an ad like this, which is called pay per click. So when you're, when you're running a pay per click ad through Google, that's the most expensive because these three bozos up here, they're paying every time someone clicks. And if I click and you're taking me to a full blown website where there's no chance in hell, anyone's going to enter their information. See there, see, look, these idiots just, this is good. This is better. This is good. But this up here at the top, should not be here. Maximum, you're probably going to sign up for a free, cons I mean, consult and consolation. I mean, that's nothing. Look, I mean, right here. This this right there is a landing page. That's it. Not all this shit down here, but, but actually sign up today. All this is okay, I guess. It's okay. It's okay because there's no other buttons to click on but the call to action button. But this up here at the top doesn't need to be there at all, at all, at all. That's hurting his conversion. These buttons at the top hurt the conversion. Because before you know it, I'm browsing and I'm looking at different shit. And before you know it, I'm really all up in here looking at other random shit. And, and now, oh shit, dinner's ready and, and, and I got to go. Okay. No, no, you're 100% right. Yeah. See, like, like I'm saying, they're, they're all, 
that one is actually probably a little bit better than 90% of them, I think, to give you, because um, I do, I was doing a lot of search, even property. And the biggest one's Utopia. Are they in there? Utopia? Yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, right here. They're, yeah, they're the biggest. Or they're, yeah, I think they're probably, I don't know, 100% sure, but they're probably the biggest. They have a, like a blue website. You can click on it. Yeah. Tell me what you think about that. They're all over. I think they're in a bunch of states, but they're. See if they have a pixel on theirs. See how I'm saying? It just takes you to their website. There's no. And these guys are big. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. They're they're not they're not big because they're taking people to their website. That's for sure. That's yeah. not why they're big at all, at all, at all. These 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 bozos have been just building their business forever. They just have a footprint in the industry, but it's not because of their ads. It's not because of the people coming to their website. They're not even Facebook pixeling me. They don't even know. I mean, yeah, this is this is not a conversion type of type it's of page a, it's, at all. It's, it's a waste of money, but here's the deal. I was noticing when I first was looking at this stuff because they said that you told me they were wrong, that landing pages like what we're trying to do does not work. Property management does not work on social media. And what the hell? Know. I mean, shit. I the know. Google, I know. Google it, I mean, you Google is one? Google and then you have social media. So, okay. So then if social media doesn't work, okay. So then I got to go spend on Google okay, so then I'll spend on Google. You're going to spend 10 times more on Google to bring them to a website like this? Yeah. Like, yeah, right. Like, no, dude, like, this is not but, how you convert, man. This is not converting calls for them at all. And like I said, this is, this is how ma majority of them, we looked at three or four of them. This is how the majority, well, not majority, all of them are just like what we're looking at here. And then and that's when I went to you and said, hey, dude, the social media work, you said, fuck yeah, dude, those guys don't know what the shit they're talking about. But like I said, you click on any of these bad boys, they're all, I mean, they're all the freaking same. Mm -hmm. the most awarded property managers turn turns, you know, I think this is a, um, a vacation rental. See, look, look, perfect. He, he, he's messing up by the book your rental or property management up top. Take those buttons out and boom, there goes your landing page. San Diego vacation rental management, earn more from your vacation rental. Yeah, that that right there that but then but then where they mess up is all this other shit down here. Actually, there's nothing else to click on. It's just information. So that's good. Um, it's just information. Actually, I can click on all this other shit. I mean, it's just it's a full blown website. It's just more than what's needed. But also these people have been in the business forever. Yeah, Turkey, so, they're, 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 they're public. Yeah, a lot of see. So shit there. You're 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 getting examples off of freaking the big swinging king kongs of the damn industry someone like you that's a that's a solopreneur just yourself you have to be driving it to a landing page you have to capture that lead you have to your budget has to go into lead capture and the best way to lead capture is to give them something for free and take a no landing page so for you Absolutely. to even remotely compete that's where you have to start because you're oh. just a smaller guy and I, even if you're a big guy, you should do the same thing that we're doing. Even if you're a big guy, I, yeah. I don't. Why? 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 Like you said, if this is not converting, you're wasting your money. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, you're wasting your money. You can Hell grow, yeah. You could grow really big really quick if you get your shit together yeah. to capture those leads. But mm -hmm. go to another one. Get out of this one. And there's just so many, man. That's why the industry of digital marketing. That's why people like me that are actually trying to build something in the in the actual industry of providing marketing services. That's why over the last few years, it has just just exponentially exploded it just the it, it it it's grown so big because 99 percent of business owners have no clue they, dude you ain't that, you, you ain't lying dude. that's why like that's why the industry my industry has has really you know taken off like because we're able to approach a company like this and say hey assholes you guys are spending freaking six million on this shit let me show you how we can, and, and, and your whole goal is to capture leads, but you're not capturing nearly as many as you could if you were doing it this way. Exactly. I, I totally agree with that statement. I'm 100%, but this is probably one of the nicer ones, but they're, they're a vacation rental. They don't do property management. They're mm -hmm. normal. Uh, but, you know, if you go through them all, like I did, I mean, if you go to uh, what, any of these, um, uh, Good Life, I know Good Life. Go to Good Life. They're huge. I know this guy real good. No, no, I'm real good. But it just takes you to his website. There he is, him and his, yeah, all man. his workers. See, there's nothing. 
he he once in a while will run a, a Facebook ad where he talks, hey guys, or like something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He'll just talk, but there's no land. Hey, if you guys, you know, in San Diego, call me. But that's yeah, dude. See, I mean, he's, he's that's why. Big. If you reach out to him and you say, hey, man, I saw your website, awesome looking website. Is that website converting for you? Are you capturing leads? He'll say no. Like, look, download our free guide on how to hire a property manager. See right there, you should be taking me straight to that and that only. To this type of a page. Download. See, he's giving away something for free. But what he's messing up is he's, he's, he has – actually, well, he's not advertising to this page. But if he was advertising to this page – he's he's messing up you need to take me straight to this little blue thing down here take me to straight this there's your landing page that's it mm -hmm. and that's what we're trying to do with you this little square box this little gray box man that's your web page right there that's it no i totally agree yeah that's what i'm saying you, you know i come from an ad i come straight to there i enter my email download the guide and like you said, it's so busy with learning center, tenant, service pricing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like you said, so. This, yeah. this, is, this is a website, which websites are great for informational purposes, but I'm talking advertising, actually paying to drive a click. I can't drive them to a website. I got to drive them to a landing page to capture the lead. And, and his, and his um, Facebook shit that he runs every, I only saw it for like a week, then he quit. It was just like this. It was just him talking, hey guys, and then. Uh, mm -hmm. really that's it there wasn't much more to it you know yeah he's guys... pixeling me so if anything if he's smart enough or he has a smart team or whatever which i'm sure he does they're creating a custom audience from everyone who lands here running facebook ads to us in the future well, I, so let's I, see I, let's, let's see if you get his ads in the future i i already i know i don't i already know that on so, every every site i've clicked on like you just did i've never got one thing ever ever Matter of fact, I've sold 500 homes and I never had one property manager. I've sold a lot of to investors and not one person has ever called me and said, Hey, that home you just sold, is that a rental? Mm -hmm. No one's ever called me, which I am baffled. I asked all my agents, has any property manager ever called you? Not, nobody. I go, geez, that's crazy. I'd be calling everyone, every sale. Hey, I see you got one in escrow. Is that a, an investment property? Mm-hmm. But anyway, no big deal, but um, they just say it doesn't work. Property management on, on social media doesn't work. It works. Well, it, it's not even, it's not, I mean, again, if it's not social media, then it's, then it's Google. So pick one. I mean, what else, what else can we do? You know, I mean, as far as digital, as far as digital marketing. You do both. You, know? you do, like it's you like, said, you, you just do, if this doesn't work, which it works. Yeah, dude, that's that's great. All, dude, Facebook, Facebook, they they showed their 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 annual profits, and they oh, profited yeah. about sixty billion in twenty nineteen, and that's all from ads. That's all ad money. That's all from these ads. Alarm dot com. It's from everyone running an ad. So it's like, dude, it's like sixty billion in ad net. That's what they netted. That was their freaking profit. How the yeah. hell does anyone say it doesn't? Why are in the hell are businesses running ads on it if it doesn't work? You know, well, like, I, I think just because what you said, they don't know marketing like you do, or, or how I'm learning about landing pages, and it's very difficult. It's very expensive. You know, I've spent a lot of money, so you know that you spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, unless you have a lot of money, you just hire somebody like you and say, "Hey, just run run me, you know, an ad every every month." But uh, you know. Then you said once you find an ad that works, you just fucking kill it with it. You just run the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. But I want to build a list too, a lookalike audience and the whole bit. But no, I just I just feel good. I call you Monday. And now I know what we need. I will try to find more emails and try to get a one in front of those numbers. And uh, I'll get back to you. Let's do it, man. Okay, brother. Thank you. Sounds for, good, brother. Yeah. Hey, I love this. Um, send me the video. I will. I for sure will, man. Uh, on the last couple of two that you've done. so Sounds I'm, good, man. I'm, I'm going to call my son right now. Let's chat ASAP. You got it, brother. Okay, bro. Talk to you soon. All right, bye. Okay, bye.